So if you're looking to kind of walk more in step with the Spirit, kind of live out your faith a little bit more day to day, well, hang with me for the next three, four, maybe nine minutes. I think I got a little something that can help. Hey guys, Jim Schultz here with you guys for The Daily Bread. I'm just a regular guy trying to understand the gospel for myself and share this beautiful truth with the world around me. So this little strategy that I have for you guys today, got to give credit where credit is due. This is the little guy that I picked up from Dr. Robert Dodd. He is a Christian counselor based out of Charlotte, North Carolina. And Dr. Dodd is an incredible guy. We've become really good friends over the last decade, and he has helped me through some really difficult times in my life. He even has his own podcast, which is an excellent resource, and I will link to that down below so you guys can check it out. But here's the plan. Here's what we're going to do. This is what I like to call bookend prayers. We're going to have two prayers every single day. We're going to have one in the beginning, i.e. the morning, then we're going to have one at the end. This could be the end of the workday. This could be, you know, after dinner. This could be before bed. This could be evening. It can be whatever you want it to be. Now, that prayer in the morning, here's the objective. You want to set the course for the day, right? Like set sail for a day that is going to be grounded in the truth of Scripture alone. Something along the lines of, God, guide me through my day. I submit my schedule to you. Allow me to pursue it with an excellence that is consistent with your word, that is consistent with your will. If I am to be productive today, then give me perseverance. Give me stick to But if I am to be unproductive for whatever reason, then Lord, I pray for patience. I pray for resolve. I pray for understanding that you've got it all covered. Either way, Lord, whether it be a productive day or an unproductive day, whether it be a good day or a bad day, Lord, guide me into the center of your will. Not my will, Lord, but yours be done. Then, once you've got that prayer done, once you've got that prayer in your back pocket, just go about your day. Go about your day and try your best to follow the Spirit. Everybody that you talk to, Do it in a way that is gentle and loving, but also clear and direct. Everything that you do, try to bring glory and honor to the Most High. This is how you should think about your day. All right, Jim, that sounds all fine and dandy, but what if I can't do that? Like, what if I actually live in the real world and I'm not able to do that? Well, hang with me for a couple of seconds. I got a little something for you. Now, I think a lot of people might already be doing something like this or some version of this. It may not be exactly this. It may not be happening in the morning. It may not even be happening at all. Hey, no judgment. No judgment whatsoever. I've been there. I'm still there many more days than I care to admit. (laughs) But if you start doing this, it's going to give you, it's going to give you a jolt of hope and encouragement and purpose that maybe you've not felt in a long time because it's no longer going to just be about you. It's no longer going to be about your stuff. It's going to be about God's stuff. It's going to be about his plan. It's going to be about his kingdom. It's going to be about his design for your life. And it's just a really, really cool feeling. It's no different than when you play on a team that you're really excited about. And it's no longer about you. It's about the team. Okay, and then later in the day, and this is the thing that really let it all click for me. That second bookend. Come back to that second bookend. Come back to that second prayer at the end of your workday, in the evening, at night, whatever, and pray with the specific intent of asking God, God, where did I mess up today? God, where did I miss the mark today? Right? Express genuine thanksgiving. Give thanks to God for graciously blessing you with breath in your lungs for another day. But then, Ask God, God, what did I do today that was inconsistent with your will for my life? And then be quiet and listen. And a lot of the time, the Spirit is going to gently move you to the low-hanging fruit from that day. Like, it's going to be obvious. Like, oh yeah, at about noon, I kind of missed the mark. At about 2.30, like, yeah, that probably wasn't my finest moment. That's going to happen a lot of the time. And that's good. That's what this is for. And other times, it's not going to be a gentle nudging. Like, God is going to shout 
directly in your ear like Jim, you should not have lusted over that other woman like Jim. You should not have snapped at your children like Jim. You were not in my word today. What is wrong with you? That's going to happen too. But a lot of the time too, nothing will happen necessarily. Like every day isn't going to necessarily involve, you know, shining a spotlight on your sin from that day. And that's okay too. This is all part of the process. All right. So those are your bookends. Now, a lot of you out there might be thinking, all right, Jim, this is good stuff, but hey, man, that was like five minutes of my day. What do I do with the other 600 in the middle? Like, what do we do with the other 10 or 12 hours that are in between the morning prayer and the evening prayer? Well, here you go. One, maybe two verses, and I want you to put them somewhere Well, you will see them. You will read them. You will think about them. You will meditate on them. This could be a sticky note on your bathroom mirror for the work from home crowd. This could be a sticky note on the bottom of your computer monitor for the work from the office crowd. Maybe this is just the background on your phone for the work from wherever you want to crowd. Just a little something to hit that reset button on a gospel-centered focus. Now, as you embark upon this journey, will you mess up? Yes. Will you flub this completely? Yes. Will you forget to do this on more days than you care to admit? Absolutely. And I'm talking to myself when I say that. But do not be discouraged. Do not be discouraged because here are two scriptures that I am certain are going to leave you feeling uplifted. Romans 7.15 I do not understand what I do. For what I want to do, I do not do. But what I hate, I do. And Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. All right, so as we shut this down today, you are going to fall victim to the temptation of sin. That's just the human condition. But Jeremiah reminds us that nothing you could do can ever or will ever Alter the course that God has set for your life. Be encouraged by that. And if you commit to this every day and try to do it in earnest every day, you are going to find yourself little by little, slowly but surely, beginning to make better decisions, beginning to make wiser decisions, beginning to tap into that biblical wisdom that can only be found through God himself. So thank you guys for checking out today. These bookend prayers, this is something that I've been using in my life for the last, you know, six to nine months. And it's made a really, really big impact on the days that I remember to do them. I'm still falling short myself, but I appreciate you guys very much. I really do. I'm super humbled that you checked out the content today, especially if you made it this far. Like I'm super, super humbled. If you guys want to hit it with a like, share, subscribe, that would be amazing. And uh, I will see you guys next time.